So starting with the front door, obviously we have a beautiful fall leaf wreath. I just added this velvet ribbon onto it, which is from Etsy. And we have our coat rack, I guess you could call it. Um, I just hung a couple cinnamon brooms on there and obviously we have our coats and hats and things there. So that's that. Now I'm gonna try not to get myself in the frame here, in the mirror I mean. But here is what the entryway table looks like. These are the Dollar Tree candle holders. And the witch house sign is from Michaels this year. In case you're wondering, our cabinet is actually a shoe storage cabinet, so we love having that. And then when we pan this way, I have this really oversized owl print, which I got from Etsy, or I downloaded it off of Etsy and had it printed off online. I put it in a large poster size frame. And so I will have this link down below as well as anything else in this video that I can that's new this year if you guys are interested. So heading this way will take you into our family room. And I actually prefer to come in through the other side. It's a better view, so we'll go over there. All right, so it is a little bit dark in here. We are losing daylight, so I'm gonna go kind of quickly. We just added some spider webs to our frames up here. And this is the same from fall. I just went ahead and added in some of these cute beaded spiders that I got from TJ Maxx last year. And then for the TV stand area, first of all, we have these really cool skeleton diagram pillows from Amazon. And then I've added in this really cute witch hat that glows in orange, which I love that it's orange. And this is from Joann's. We have Hubie Halloween on TV right now because I don't have like a fancy frame TV that I can put a screensaver up. So um, if you haven't checked that out, it's kind of a silly Halloween movie. But over here I have just a pumpkin with another beaded spider and some vintage candle holders. Another one of these skeleton pillows and then my DIY fall tree. For the couch, all the pillows are the same from my Decorate With Me video. Um, I did share this in that video. It is the Light Up Jack o' Lantern pumpkin from Pottery Barn. I had it turned around, so it was just a plain pumpkin in that video, but we've been enjoying it lit up. It actually needs new batteries. I can tell the lights are a little bit dim, but that is such a fun piece. And then behind the couch, we have this shelf which has pretty much stayed the same for quite a while, but I did add my paper mache jack-o'-lanterns from Creepy Cute Creations on Etsy. My friend James makes everything in that shop. He's the shop owner, and these are some of my favorite pieces for Halloween. And then for the coffee table, we have my favorite candle, of course. This is Pumpkin Clove another beaded spider, and then I just put a bunch of dried and preserved leaves in this vase that I spray painted black. Last little touch in this room is a cute pie pumpkin on my little side table here, and that kind of completes the room. So I'll just kind of give you a pan around so you can see everything all together. So now we're gonna head into the kitchen and on my kitchen table, I just did this big oversized vase filled with some preserved leaves and then these berries, which I think they're blackberries. On the art behind it, I put some spider webbing and some little faux spiders. And then from here, we can go to my little coffee area. So I just got this coffee machine yesterday it is, I don't know what Keur what the name of it is, but it is a Keurig and it makes both hot and cold beverages. It is quite a bit smaller than the one I had before, which actually ended up breaking the day that we got home from vacation. I had complained that it looked dirty and I was having trouble getting it to look super white, but it actually ended up completely breaking. So I just got this one. It was 
on the more affordable side, I think it was like $70 compared to replacing the one I had, which was a lot more. Um, so I'm still getting used to it. And like I said, it's smaller. So I was just kind of playing around with decor. Um, I actually like the bigger look better because I had less room to play with. So anyways, I just have this mug from Salem and this vintage, this is a real vintage Jack Lantern mug from 1971. I have a chai tea latte mix in here. So um, I don't like this actual tea from Trader Joe's, by the way. The camera's having trouble focusing, but there you go. I don't like this tea, if this is even a tea, but I kept the canister and I replaced what was inside. Um, this is a mess over here, but I just thought I would show you guys. I have a little art piece from Megan Melly Illustrations. This I won at a haunted house, like a summertime haunted house that we had in our town, which was pretty fun. My um, husband and I got a couple's aura reading in Salem, and that's what our um, aura photo looked like. And then I just have a little to-do list here. Another thing we picked up in Salem are these flags. We got these from a vendor at the Haunted Happenings Marketplace, and I just thought they were super fun and vintage looking. This one has the Halloween buckets. This one says Happy Halloween," And then this one has a little devil and a jack-o'-lantern and it says Salem, Massachusetts. Okay, so the rest of the kitchen is fairly simple. I wanted to show you guys these super cute dish towels that I recently picked up. These come in a pack of two or three. I can't remember, but I'll show you the other one uh, when we get there. It's on my stove. I have my ghost cutting board and my um, candle warmer with again my favorite candle pumpkin clove underneath it and then from there just a pumpkin a pumpkin hand soap and we also have this little corner decorated i've had this ray dunn canister for years and i absolutely love it i don't feel like it looks like ray dunn but it's really fun so that's what we have dog treats in currently a pumpkin and then this really cute jack-o-lantern terracotta thing that I got last year and I know a lot of you ended up buying it too I just have a candle going in there so that it illuminates but it's kind of hard to see because the kitchen's bright and then here's the other side of the kitchen here's the other towel I absolutely love these I just think they are so cute and like very Halloween inspired which is what we are doing this year um, I have this print that I got from Zazzle. Look, it looks like chip. Um, my mom made me a pumpkin bread, so that's out. Of course, I have my pumpkin pot that is always on my stove. This stays out all year. This was a big investment piece for me, so I really have gotten my use out of it, and I just, I just love having it out all the time. If you're new here, I keep a little bit of fallout all year, so um, I always get questions where it's from. I think I got this one from Neiman Marcus. It is the Staub brand. So it's one of the nicer ones, but it was a really good investment. And if you're not willing to make a big investment on one of these, I've seen them at TJ Maxx and Home Goods, and they might even be online. If I can find one online, I'll link it for you. But over here, we just have some Dollar Tree salad tong skeleton hands, and I think this came from Target last year, the spatula. By the way, if you guys... Um, have been noticing my hands. I had henna when I was in um, Salem, so that's what that is. It's not a real tattoo. It's already fading away. And um, my little copper jack lantern that I bring out every year. So that's the kitchen. Now we're gonna head into the dining room. I always give a little background story on my dining room. So this is actually a converted garage. That's why it um, looks out onto my driveway, if you can see there. But we love having a formal space to um, host our families in. I also work in here quite a bit. So I did sort of like a Halloween witchy kind of theme in here. I wouldn't call it a theme, um, but that's kind of the direction that I went. And I kept it a little bit, well, I would say simple, but... Like my buffet is definitely decorated way more than I normally put out. So we'll just start here with the um, centerpiece. I just have this vase of simple stems. These were gifted to me by A Floral and I'm using a scarf as a table runner, which is a hack that I've talked about 
for years on my channel. I got this um, scarf for maybe like $10 on Amazon. I cut it down the center and I was able to use one on my dining table and one on my kitchen table. So over here, we just have, of course, a nice big pumpkin and this broom. This broom actually sings and moves, so I'm gonna turn it on so you can see how that looks. Okay, so I turned it off just because I didn't want it to interfere too much with the video, but that is from HalloweenCostumes.com. It was gifted to me this year, and I absolutely love it. It really was the inspiration for doing sort of like a witchy vibe in here. So let me show you the main decor, which is on my buffet. I'm try to show you this without getting myself in the reflection. I don't know if you can hear it, but I'm kind of sick. And I just have not put myself together in days, so I'm trying to avoid being on camera. But we have, you know, some taper candles and lots of pumpkins. I use some dried eucalyptus to make sort of a garland down the front of the buffet. And then I have my set of star and moon vintage candle holders in here. So I'll show you on the other side. But... Um, the witch hat I think works really well. I love the spider hanging off of it. It's actually sitting on top of this black book, which is a hardback version of Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. Um, so I love having that book for Halloween. And then we have the um, matching candle holder to the moon over here. And just some pumpkins and more candles. Here's a peek at the buffet from this direction. I think it's really pretty and my husband said he really liked the color scheme of it so I think that's a win when a guy says that they like the color scheme and how it all came together so I'm really pleased with it so the last little area in the dining room is this vintage picnic basket that I just put some pumpkins and fairy lights and blankets on um, this is actually hiding the trim that my dogs have chewed up multiple times. So I stopped trying to repaint it because they just keep chewing on it. Um, so yeah, that's what I put there to hide it. <laughs> and I'm actually gonna take you guys outside in a little bit. As you can see, it's still um, a little bit bright outside, but we have some outdoor decor that I wanna show you. Actually, we'll start in the back while it's daytime and show you the fall decor in the backyard and then we'll go to the front at night and I'll share all the Halloween decor with you. So starting off with my greenhouse in the backyard, the backyard is fall vibes by the way and the front is Halloween but I wanted to really simply decorate this um, greenhouse. If you didn't know I have a, a huge cut flower garden. You're just seeing a, you know parts of it in this video and it's a lot to take care of and I'm ready to be done taking care of it so I didn't want to plant up a bunch of planters or have a bunch of mums to water I just did a couple mums and I stacked some stacking pumpkins in my planters because I don't actually have to water them or take care of them I wanted to show you guys our little actually he's huge spider friend that's been watching over the garden he's perfect for the Halloween vibes and yeah that's the greenhouse it's not much but it's it's not a problem for me to take care of and that's the most important thing so the garden is going to be coming to a close soon so I wanted to share some footage of what it looks like right now before the frost or the powdery mildew takes it over my dahlias are you know just so fabulous right now there's a lot of fall color it's really stunning um, and I'm sh I'm definitely gonna miss this when it's gone but I'm kind of ready for I'm kind of ready for a break but I am thinking about posting gardening content on a second channel this winter and um, the next coming spring so let me know if you'd be interested in following along there I get a lot of questions about gardening that's why I've I've thought about making a second channel for it. And on our patio, we just did a, a little pumpkin display on the patio table. Nothing crazy. We haven't been able really to enjoy this space because we've been so busy. 
but I get to see it from the window and that's good enough. So I have some planters towards the front of my house that I wanted to redo. Here is what they looked like this summer. Um, I did not, again, want to take care of anything else or replant, so I just pulled out what looked too summery and plopped in some pumpkins to fill in the space. I also wanted to suspend some spiders and some lights, so I just grabbed some branches from the front yard after a storm, stuck them in the dirt, and hung my lights and my spiders from those. And here's what it looks like at night. These lights are so awesome because they're battery powered, so I don't have to worry about plugging them in. And you may or may not have noticed, I decided to swap out the jack-o'-lanterns for just some fresh pumpkins because I wanted to use the jack-o'-lanterns in this next display. So we have three different displays or four throughout the yard, but this one is my favorite. I call this one my big boy display because our two 12 footers are in here. I'm absolutely obsessed with these guys. I call them my sons. We have the 12 foot scarecrow from Lowe's and he's actually more like 15 feet if you count his hat. And then we have the Inferno pumpkin skeleton from Lowe's. We have a bunch of jack lanterns which are lit up with battery powered tea lights and puck lights that are on timers. Um, we do not have a bunch of outlets. We just have enough for the 12 footers and the, the jack-o'-lantern stack you see here, which is eight feet tall from Lowe's, or I'm sorry, from Home Depot. So everything else is either battery powered or solar powered. We set up this really cool graveyard. We've never done a graveyard before, so this was really fun. My husband posed the skeletons to look like they were burying or digging up another skeleton. He did that with some garden stakes and zip ties. And our displays are all lit up with solar powered spotlights that are colored. Um, you can pick a color, you can let it run through colors, or you can just pick white. But these are from Amazon and they're a game changer for lighting displays, especially if you don't have outlets like us. Our last display is our big spider web display. We used what's called beef netting instead of the cottony kind of spider web, which is really bad for the environment and for the wildlife. This is something you can buy on Amazon also. You cut it up yourself, put your own holes in it, and I think it makes a way bigger impact. So I'm really happy with this and the giant spiders are also from Amazon and they were super affordable. So that is the Halloween home tour inside and out. Thank you guys so much for your patience this season. There are a couple areas that I still have to decorate and I didn't get a chance to show you. So there is potentially one more decorating video to come but that'll just be dependent on if I have the time but I want to say thank you for being here I hope you enjoyed it I love you my pumpkin people and happy Halloween